What is red fever? More than 50 people have died in Kerala of suspected leptospirosis, or popularly known as red fever, after the devastating flood in August this year. It is estimated that 7 to 10 million people suffer from leptospirosis annually worldwide, and then about 58,000 people die. Hi everyone, Namaskar, this is Dr. Bari Welcome to my health channel. Leptospirosis, commonly known as red fever or harvest fever, was first described by Adolf Will in 1886, hence also known as Will's disease. Leptospira bacteria was first observed in 1907 from a postmodern kidney tissue. In 1908, it was identified as a causative organism, and in 1916, its presence was found in the rats. Leptospirosis has been recognized as a re-emerging infectious disease which has the potential to become even more prevalent with the advancing climate change. It is endemic in areas where dengue virus is transmitted and it may even be mistaken for dengue. Leptospirosis is an infectious disease of the humans and animals caused by pathogenic spirochete, a bacteria of genus Leptospira. 13 species of Leptospira have been found to cause disease in the human. It is considered the most common zoonosis in the world and it's associated with the rodents in setting of poor sanitation, agricultural occupations and flooded areas which are contaminated by the urine of infected animals like rats, mice, moles, rabbits, raccoons, dogs, etc. Humans become infected through contact with water, food and soil that contains urine from these infected animals. The bacteria can enter our body through abrasions in the skin, mucous membranes, conjunctiva of the eyes, drinking of contaminated water, animal and rodent bites, waterlogged skin, and through lungs after inhalation of aerosolized infected body fluid. Now let's take a quick look at the signs and symptoms. The onset of clinical illness occurs abruptly after an incubation period of about 5 to 14 days. Fortunately, 90% of cases are mild disease while the rest are severe leptospirosis. The typical symptoms are fever, rigors, headache, retroorbital pain, photophobia, muscle pain, conjunctival suffusion or redness of eyes, dry cough, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Severe leptospirosis or ectoric leptospirosis, also known as Will's disease, manifests as jaundice, kidney failure, hemorrhagic features like bleeding, shock, and meningitis. Diagnosis of leptospirosis can be done by lab tests such as detection of leptospira immunoglobulin M and G by ELISA and rapid diagnostic kits, real-time DNA PCR of blood, urine, and cerebrospinal fluid. Culture of leptospires from body fluids and tissues can also be done, but it takes several weeks. The gold standard serological test for diagnosis of leptospirosis is microscopic agglutination testing. Leptospirosis or red fever can be treated with antibiotics and supportive therapy like intravenous fluid. Dialysis may be required in severe cases when kidneys are affected. Antibiotics which can be used are doxycycline, ampicillin or amoxicillin, azithromycin or clarithromycin, fluoroquinolones like ciprofloxacin or levofloxacin. In severe leptospirosis, intravenous antibiotics are given like intravenous penicillin G, intravenous cephalosporins like cefotaxin and cefriaxone, intravenous amoxicillin and intravenous erythromycin. So how can you prevent rat fever? Risk of infection is minimized by avoiding contact with animal urine, infected animals or a contaminated environment. Transmission of infection can be prevented by wearing protective clothing like boots, gloves and mask, covering skin lesions with waterproof dressing and avoid swimming in potentially contaminated water, washing properly after exposure to contaminated soil, drinking clean water, especially during flood. Tablet doxycycline 200 mg once a week can be taken as a prophylaxis to minimize infections during outbreaks in endemic regions. Human vaccines for leptospirosis are available in few countries like Cuba and China. Hope people in affected areas like in Kerala follow the preventive measures and precautions and stay healthy. Thank you for watching this video. Please do subscribe my health channel. Wish you all good health. See you again. Take care.